We've uh, been lucky this year. We had a, we bought a good filly here two years ago called Majmu, who's a reduced choice filly. We bought from Arrowfield, uh, and she went to Mike de Kock in South Africa, and she was the champion two-year-old filly last year. Was unbeaten then, and then she got beaten in her first start this year, but came back and won the Guineas well uh, in Cape Town, and hopefully is due to run next weekend in a Group One in Johannesburg. Uh, and of the Australian ones. Um, we nearly got lucky in the Blue Diamond this year with a reduced choice filly called Rima, who ran very well for a maiden. It was just beaten in second. Uh, and a couple of other nice, hopefully nice two-year-olds coming along now, um, some of the more backward ones. I, I think they're a very tough, hardy horse generally. Um, if you get lucky and you get the right ones, obviously, you, you need the bit of class. But, uh, I, I just find our main aim is really to try and get horses to Dubai for Sheikh Hamdan. And so the sort of stepping stone is South Africa where Mike de Kock's base is. And he and his team, will, they'll train them there initially. And then if they show enough, we'll bring them to Europe on their way to, to Dubai. Um, but as I say, I think they're a very hardy horse. Um, they, they're amazing considering the amount of traveling they have to go through. So they're not, they're not sharp two-year-olds on the whole, and we wouldn't send a sharp two-year-old. I'd prefer to leave a horse like that in Australia, but certainly some of the bigger prize money. We were lucky and won the Cape Derby with a homebred called Ertijal this year, who had had colic when he first arrived in South Africa and was quite an immature horse anyway. And 14 months after he nearly died, he came out and won the Cape Derby. So uh, when you get the right one with a bit of ability, as I say, they're very tough and they seem to do well. Longer than I care to remember, Amy. Um, look, it's. I think every sale comes up with good horses. Obviously, uh, the Gold Coast has has really taken off Magic Millions. Um, the last few years, they've had some fantastic results. I haven't been able to get there for the last few years, but so this is the sale time-wise that suits us the best. Um, following straight on from Dubai and just before the European season really kicks into gear. So it's easy for me to get to this sale, uh, and you know we've we've had a couple of decent horses. We bought Nadim and Rianne, who both won a Blue Diamond, and now a couple of fillies who've been second in it, um, and Majmu, as I said before. So we've had a bit of luck, and and you know we we need to be buying some good horses. We buy plenty of them, so we need to get results. But hopefully, um, if we can just keep coming up with the odd good horse, that'll uh, yeah, it'll pay for itself in due course. No question, you only have to look around here. This week I've never seen so many foreigners here, some, some, so many overseas clients, uh, which is amazing. I mean, uh, 10 years ago, the word, you could have named them on, on the fingers of one hand, the overseas people. So uh, I think, obviously, the racing here is so strong, the prize money is so incredible, and the homegrown product is so fantastic. And it's taken a lot of time, or a long time, for some of the parts of the world to join in, but they set not just Europe now, as we saw last year and this year, the Americans are here in significant numbers, Japanese obviously, and it's just fantastic how it's taken off to me, and it's really, Australia has sort of shown itself to the rest of the world, if you like, and, and now everybody's joined in, which is wonderful.